Hi friends, this is Dolly here and today I'm going to show you how you can wear a silk sari but not pleated in an open palla drape. So I don't want to waste my time and I really want you to you know follow this uh, you know drape and post me pictures. So let's go. So in this video what you're going to see is how to wear a Banarsi, Kanjivaram, Valkalam, you know like nice thick saris. So not every time you would want to you know pleat and wear it, you would even would want to you know open uh, the whole sari like an open palla and you would want to wear it like that. So there's a trick to wear it, let me show you step by step so you don't go wrong anywhere. This is how Deepika loves to carry her sari, and whenever I've done her drapes, I think uh, she just carries it with ease. I love doing all saris on her. So let me show you how we drape this sari. So I'm just tucking it from behind, like the way we do our saris. I mean, there's nothing special about the tuck-in. So. So till here is my basic tuck, after I've done my basic tuck, I'll tell you what to do. It's So this, after you've done your basic tuck, what you need to do is leave a handful of material in front and take the sari from back and start pleating. I mean you can just do rough pleats because you're going to take it open so you can just do rough pleats you know just to measure how what's the length that you need to leave behind. So the longer you leave behind the taller you look. So this is the length I think is perfect and any which way silk saris are bigger in uh, length also so you can always play with this fabric like this. After doing this See now the trick is here, you have to be very careful, normally what people thought that once you take a pin here, pin it up and if you want to wear it pleated, you can wear it pleated or just open the sari. but it is not like that. When you are wearing an open palla, the drape is completely different from what a pleated sari is. So after you have done this, take this fabric from here, covering your bust. covering your bust and then tuck the fabric here okay okay after that so you start making your pleats don't make too narrow pleats uh, because then you will start looking bulky from this side so after you've done this see this is this much fabric just leave it I mean don't be bothered don't try and make another extra pleat here just take this and the moment you dust this, see how you get the pleats. See it also depends on the fabric, I mean the sari is so amazing, the moment I am just pleating it, it is just taking the shape of the you know the pleats and it is uh, it's so easy. So now remove this part, okay, tuck this from here. You have taken this, align them together and right below your navel take this and tuck the whole thing inside. I am clear so far I think because I am teaching you step by step. I really want you to wear this sari and post pictures to me. After you have done this, so you know this is your mark. Now what you do is take this sari down. Okay. Now from this hand, see this fabric is there and this is my other hand. From this hand, I am giving the sari in this hand. 
see i'm making is when you make it slant the extra fabric is what is floating down but in this what we need to make it is straight so this is straight and i take the other fabric tuck this in and tuck the rest and now take this and just so after you've done that just pull the entire fabric here and take this on your shoulders and just attach a pin here as far as you can i mean you know when you're doing a pleated sari when you're wearing a navy style or when you're doing a pleated sari i always tell you to have the pin on your shoulders i mean fix it up on your shoulders when we're doing open palla what you need to do is attach it way i mean almost as far as you can so that the pleats you know are behind only it doesn't bother you in front so this part now for this what you do sick so take this from here tightly pull this down very nicely and tight and just take this and attach a pin here okay now bring this down and see what is the major problem when you're wearing an open palla that your length of this and this is never equal but in this see the length of hers is completely equal and she can yeah let me just check okay now when you're wearing a silk saree like this what you need to do is you can e you can keep it like this no problem but if you if you think your saree has this is a weave but what if your saree has an extra embroidery done and you want it to stay so what you do is take this and start making your pleats from here start making your pleats from here take this pin attach this pin here on this side and this is your mark what you need to do is just push and here you are so yeah this is how you know when you see all these celebs with pin and prop and everything in its place and you feel how do they carry sarees with such an ease it is the way they pleat it is the way it is pinned it is the way it is draped i mean that's how makes it so easy because they have so many things to do they cannot be bothered about how and where to pin so i've just taught you the right way of wearing an open palla i hope you enjoy this trip please do take pictures and you can always post them to me on my instagram my instagram handle is dolly.jain so start following me if you haven't and uh, i'm coming up with a whole series so i think you should be benefited the most so thank you so much keep enjoying my drapes i love you all